Preface Loving Ourselves into Healing Many years ago, I read a moving article by a hospice caregiver who had accompanied thousands of people during their final weeks. One phrase in particular has stayed with me. After countless hours listening to the thoughts of the dying, the caregiver summed up their greatest regrets with these words. I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself. Almost six is when you get to go to kindergarten. Kindergarten is where you go to meet new friends and not watch TV. My kindergarten is the afternoon kind. Today was my first day of school. I'd been to my room before, though. Last week, Mother took me there to meet my teacher. It was called Meet the Teacher Day. My teacher was decorating the bulletin board with letters of the alphabet. I already know all of those, I said. I can sing them, except I don't feel like it right now. The name stood out in bolder letters than any other words. And as Mrs. Darling gazed, she felt that it had an oddly cocky appearance. Oh, yes, he's rather cocky, Wendy admitted with regret. Her mother had been questioning her. But who is he, my pet? He is Peter Pan. You know, mother. At first, Mrs. Darling did not know. But after thinking back into her childhood, she just remembered a Peter Pan who was said to live with the fairies. There were odd stories about him, as that when children died, he went part of the way with them, so that they should not be frightened. She had believed in him at the time, but now that she was married and full of sense, she quite doubted whether there was ever any such person. Besides, she said to Wendy, he would be grown up by this time. Oh no, he isn't grown, Wendy assured her confidently, and he's just my size. She meant that he was her size in both mind and body. She didn't know how she knew, but she just knew. Mrs. Darling consulted Mr. Darling, but he smiled poo-poo. Mark my words, he said. It is some nonsense Nana has been putting in their heads. Just the sort of idea a dog would have. Leave it alone and it will blow over. But it would not blow over. And soon the troublesome boy gave Mrs. Darling quite a shock. Children have the strangest adventures without being troubled by them. For instance, they may remember to mention a week after the event happened that when they were in the wood, they had met their dead father and had a game with him. It was in this casual way that Wendy one morning made a disquieting revelation. Some leaves of a tree had been found on the nursery door, which certainly were not there when the children went to bed, and Mrs. Darling was puzzling over them when Wendy said with a tolerant smile, I do believe it is that Peter again. Whatever do you mean, Wendy? It is so naughty of him to not wipe his feet, Wendy said, sighing. She was a tidy child. She explained in quite a matter-of-fact way that she thought Peter sometimes came to the nursery in the night and sat on the foot of her bed and played his pipes to her. Unfortunately, she never woke, so she didn't know how she knew, 